Uh, Fanula, sixth for you this time at a venue in which you've been so successful through your career. Yeah, I suppose a bit disappointing that result, but I, I, I tried hard, I put myself in a position that I probably wished I hadn't have halfway through the race, and after that there was kind of, it was kind of a case of trying to hang on, and I, I actually did, I thought I did quite well on top, I suppose close to the end, I don't know, it just, I think it's when you're passing that runners and you don't know what's happening in front of you and behind you, and it's kind of a bit, it gets a bit all over the place, and I think I probably lost a bit of concentration on the last lap, which, it's not really like me, so I don't know really what happened there. Yeah, what do you put that down to? Is it something that you would perhaps analyse afterwards? Yeah, I suppose but you can't overanalyse things either, like in a race is a race, and yeah, like a bit disappointed, but I can't do a race again next week, so. Yeah, it's Edinburgh that's next in the calendar, coming off the back of it's still high finishes in the European cross country in Slovakia and here in Antwerp. Yeah, <laughs> I ish, but not high enough, I suppose, so hopefully I can uh, make it a bit next weekend. Yeah, uh, but I mean, still, there is a level of consistency which, which is probably pleasing. How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, look, I, I, I enjoyed that race more than I enjoyed Europeans anyway, definitely, and I think part of it is the course I like when it's like up and down and broken up and twisty turny mucky and all that so it kind of makes cross country much more enjoyable than the kind of flat boring European cross country courses so yeah what you mean totally unlike what we get now at international level as you say yeah that's why it's great that this is an international race and it's nice to be able to like showcase it to the rest of the world and hopefully they come and run the race and enjoy it as much as we do and then maybe more of the big races abroad can or European cross country even can well, kind of take sorry. it like a lesson from it maybe and make the horses more like this. Yeah, so Edinburgh is obviously the next day on the calendar, you'll be running for the European team there and the rest of 2018 is it an open canvas then? Yeah, it's pretty much race next week and then make a proper plan I suppose for there because this I suppose is kind of the end of last year's season so mm. these two races were kind of part of last year and then I'll move on for 2018 after that then. Marathons still with a high priority then? Yeah, like probably the first focus would be the World Cup in March and then, well then there's Europeans in Berlin and August, so yeah.